Nestled in the woods of New Jersey sits an abandoned and decaying relic from the Cold War. A part of McGuire Air Force Base, the Bromac site went into operation in 1959, and one year later, an accident in 1960 left the site contaminated with weapons-grade plutonium. Decommissioned in 1972, the site is still off-limits today due to low levels of contamination. Follow me as I venture inside to see what is left behind. I truly cannot put in the words how this place made me feel. Just stepping back to look at the sheer size of this place puts into perspective how close we really were to nuclear war. And while the site has been decommissioned since the 1970s, that eerie feeling still remains. It goes without saying that Jess and I just want to thank all of you for your support. Without you, we would not be where we are today. If you like this type of content, take a moment to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Most of our views come from non-subscribers. If you're here, why not just click that button? We do have a question to ask. The feedback we get is all positive. So why do you stop watching? We would really like to understand. Take a moment to comment the reasons you stop watching below. Finally, if you'd like to help support the channel, a PayPal link is in the description. Bromac, or Boeing Michigan Aeronautical Research Center, base number one, was the New Jersey Missile Launch Site complex of 218 acres within the range and impact area at the northeast corner of Fort Dix. The military installation was one of two Cold War Bromac bases of the New York Air Defense Sector. The formerly used defense site was the first operational Bromac base and had both a missile support area with squadron operations center and a launch area. With 56 mode two launcher shelters in two flights, the missile complex was the annex of the McGuire Air Force Base six miles to the west where the Sage Direction Center was the missile launch control center. By 1955, the base was planned for January 1960 operations as the first Romac site. Construction began in January of 1958 and it became operational on September 1st, 1959 with three IM-99A missiles, 24 missiles by January 1st. In December 1959, Colonel Robert E. Stewart was the base commander the 46th Air Missile Squadron Bromac Commander was Lieutenant Colonel Ernest B. Shepard, and the Boeing Support Office was in New Egypt, New Jersey. The supersonic Bromac missiles IM-99A and IM-99B were the world's first long-range anti-aircraft missiles and the first missiles that Boeing mass-produced. 
Boeing also designed and built the launch facilities. This ambitious program established Boeing as a leader in large-scale systems integrations. In 1951, Boeing was awarded the contract to develop the missile, which was given the designation XF-99. At the time, these missiles were considered pilotless aircraft, since their mission was to intercept enemy bombers, and they were given an F for fighter designation. Later, the Air Force redefined its designation system, and the BROMAC became the IM-99 interception missile. The first of the XF-99 research missiles flew on September 10, 1952. The first production model of the BROMAC was the IM-99A, which first flew on February 24, 1955. The IM-99A was powered by an Aerojet General liquid-fueled rocket motor that boosted the missile to near supersonic speed. At the time, twin Marquette ramjet engines attached by pylons to the underside of the missile propelled the missile to its target at Mach 2.5 to a range of 250 miles. One major issue with the early Bromac was the main booster's highly corrosive liquid rocket fuel. This fuel could not be stored on board the missile and had to be loaded before launch, a process that nearly added two minutes to the missile launch time. The solution was to replace the liquid fueled motor with a large solid fuel booster. The result was much safer and much better performing. The IM-99B Super Bromac, which had a response time of less than 30 seconds, the B model had an increased range of 440 miles, while its stated cruise speed was Mach 2.5, the B model had been tested the speeds of Mach 4 and was effective from sea level to 100,000 feet. Between 1957 and 1964, Boeing built 570 production missiles, 269 production IM-99As, and 300 production IM-99B missiles, and another 130 for various tests. The missiles were housed on a constant combat-ready base in individual launch shelters in remote areas. They used analog computers, some of which were built by Boeing and had been developed for ground-to-air pilotless aircraft experiments during World War II. BROMAC was intended to centralize command and control air defense systems for Canada and the United States, known as SAGE, Semi-Automatic Ground Environment. The system would guide BROMAC to incoming targets until the missile's owner seek could lock on the target and detonate the missile's warhead at the closest point of pass or on impact. Bromac was a successful program that met all of its original objectives, but the nature of nuclear threat changed from primarily bombers to ballistic missiles. In 1970, Congress declared that the Continental U.S. Air Defense Missile System was no longer necessary, and on October 1st, 1972, the last Bromac was retired from service. Thank you again for all your support. We love all of you. Until next time, stay safe.